In this episode, we are going to be unboxing this, the Microsoft Surface Pro 6. Don't go anywhere. Hello to you and you are watching The Hive, the home of everything news, reviews, tech, interviews and more. Now if you haven't been here before and you want to keep up to date, all you need to do is make sure that you hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Now in today's episode we are going to be taking a look and unboxing this, the Microsoft Surface Pro 6. Now as we know technology is moving with the times and the days where you were sat behind a desktop computer with a big machine are starting to slowly fade away. We need to be able to lift our work and carry it and take it anywhere with us. So you could be working in your office one day, working on the train and you need to go to a different building to continue that work. Or you could be the kind of person that has to work on the road and having device devices like these really do help as they're light and easy to use and a lot of them are cloud based as well. So what we're going to do is dig into the box and have a little look to see exactly what you get with the Surface Pro 6. So as you can see you've got the box here fresh in its lovely packaging, quite nice, feels really premium, feels quite heavy actually. Uh, but inside the box what are we expecting with the device it's going to be coming with the eighth generation intel core processor you're going to get 128 gigabytes of internal memory so things of the places where it needs to store uh, and you've got eight gigs of ram for that processing speed as well so it's got plenty of things going on about the device that will help you in your everyday kind of working life so let's dig in and have a little look the Microsoft Surface Pro. So let's get the box open and see exactly what you get inside the device. So I'm moving that to the side. Here it is. So this is your Surface Pro. Ooh. Right, we'll come back to that in just a second. So what else do we get inside the box apart from the device itself? So coming down this way, I'm assuming this would be all your power leads and cables. I would be right. So you've got your power brick just there with its magnetic connectors just on the end there. So that's what we like to see. And what else do we get inside the box as well? And I'm assuming this is, there we go, and just your kind of quick start paperwork there, which is a standard in any kind of unboxing really. So kind of simple inside the box, but that's not what we're here to see. We're here to see the Surface Pro. So let's put all this to one side and have a little look. So this is a tablet, a computer if you will. Uh, this could essentially be your office on the move. Um, so what we're gonna do is get the plastic off. love that bit. So this is the device itself. Now it does feel quite light for the purposes and for what it's going to do. It's about 0.33 inches thick and weighs just 1.7 pounds. So as I said, it is quite light, it's quite durable, quite easily used without a keyboard or a mouse or you can just literally just use this as a tablet if you're just sitting at home and doing some work. So having a look around the device itself, so you, of course you've got this big gorgeous display, uh, still got bezels around the side there, not too big bezels though, plenty of on-screen uh, display there. So at the top here uh, you have indeed got your cameras uh, and I believe these are front facing sensors, you've got a microphone there coming onto the sides of the device. You have indeed got your volume rockers up and down, power on and off, you've got your headphone jack, you've got your speaker, and then you've got your connectors at the bottom here for your dock and or if you've got a wireless keyboard and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then coming onto the side here, you have indeed got a USB, uh, well it looks like a normal USB there, would be nice to see a USB type C on there nevertheless. Uh, and you've got some other connectors just on the side here. Now the one thing that I do really like about the Surface Pro is the fact that you do have this little kickstand just on the back which makes it great for kind of sitting in any sort of position and it is quite flexible and durable so you don't only just have to have it in kind of in a still upright position it does indeed flex quite far back which does then allow you to have the device really low down I mean that's as 
you can have it pretty much resting at just that height just there which is really really good so it depends on how you work you may like to prefer to have things a little bit further down like that or like myself I do prefer just to have it a little bit further up like that almost kind of in laptop mode which is which is really nice and it's a good little feature which helps uh, to kind of keep it mobile so you can literally go anywhere and do work with it so as you can see earlier on we powered on the device and you're obviously now being brought into the Windows 10 kind of setup menu uh, it does operate on Windows 10 uh, which may, does make it kind of slick and smooth and if you're very familiar to it anyway uh, you'll be absolutely fine with it so I'm gonna go through the setup options so here it all is in its fine and beauty all loaded up and it just literally looks like uh, a a normal Windows computer. So as mentioned before, the, a lot of the way the technology that we are moving forward now is all about uh, cloud-based uh, kind of apps and technology. So for a big example, things on this would be really good like Windows 365. Windows 365 works on multiple platforms and it all saves everything on their equivalent to the cloud. So using things like this on this kind of device would benefit you by having it. So if you find that you're, you could be a, a doctor, a nurse, a GP, or you could someone that does home visits and they use Office 365 to pull their data from and send it back to, then this would be a great device for it. So here you go, this is the bog standard setup that you get with it. Looks like a normal bog standard Windows 10 kind of layout. So you can tap on the Windows icon and it, everything there is all very familiar. So you can still see you've got all your bits like you normally would, it's just like a normal computer. So you get, so you do get a few basic apps on there. So you can, you can see you get things like Microsoft uh, Access, Excel. Uh, you, obviously, there's a camera app on there because you can use this to take pictures. So perhaps if you are working out in the field, you need to take a picture. You don't need to do it with your smartphone if you're working off this. You can just simply use the cameras on the front and the back. So you could literally just go over there, take a picture jobs are good in and you can keep on continuing to work on this device here. So you still get uh, Microsoft Edge but you can install other apps on here like Google Chrome. Essentially it's just like having a Windows 10 kind of laptop but the convenience of it only being smaller and that you can take it around with you. So I have been mentioning that it is just like a laptop you can literally take it anywhere with you so like we did before we're showing you that you can lift it up and you can tilt the back of the arms just on here that would help it stand up um, but you can either when you have it that way you can type using the screen or what you can do is you can get little uh, extensions or add-ons that you can put onto the bottom of the devices to help it make it more of a laptop which we do have one here so we do have this one, we do have the Microsoft Surface Pro uh, signature type cover. So what we're going to do is get this open and attach it onto the bottom of here and we'll give it a really good test and feel to see if it can, can it replace a laptop, do you think? I mean, in my opinion so far, it looks really good, it's behaving, um, you could, all the elements of it look like it's just like it would as a normal laptop. There we go. And let's get it out of the box there. Here we go, this is it and... Ooh, ooh, it's a clicky. My personal preference, I prefer to have clicky laptop kind of keyboards. It makes me feel more like you are definitely typing on that keyboard, you know what you're doing. Perfect. Now, overall, it feels generally nice, uh, quite comfortable on the palms there. So if you are kind of resting your palms and typing away, it does feel quite good. But as you can see on here, it does have these little connectors just at the bottom. And when we've shown you the device earlier on, um, we've shown you that there's, there were connectors on the end of there. And that's because now what we're going to do is try and pair these two together. So now I've got the device here. It has got just the little kind of you can see the space for it there where it needs to drop in so let's put it down there we go so then we put out the kickstand I mean laptop position here so imagine I'm at an airport going somewhere or I'm on the train so the trackpad is really responsive that seems to go really quickly so overall what do I think if you're looking for a device that can handle the day-to-day -day tasks of your business then this might be the one for you the display is large enough to view those documents you need on its beautiful 12.3 inch display. 
The device has plenty of room for storage with its built-in 256 gigabytes plus room for expansion with a micro SD card. You'll always be connected with the device as it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.1 built in. It handles working with documents and apps with ease, including Office 365, Photoshop, and pretty much any other Windows 10 program. The Surface Pro is light and compact and fits nicely in your bag, ready to take to work on the go. So, is this for you? Is it Surface Pro or Surface No? That was the Microsoft Surface Pro 6. What do you think of it? Do you have the Surface Pro 6 or are you thinking about it? Let us know your comments, questions, anything like that. Let us know by getting them in the box below because we always love to read them. Now then, if you haven't had enough of us already, there is loads more content for you to see. All you need to do is make sure you have a look at the little videos that you can see on screen right now. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that round subscribe icon. But thank you very much for watching. My name's Ryan and I'll see you next time at The Hive. Bye-bye for now.